Hi, I'm Mike from Michael's Motor Cars, located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and I'm pleased to show you a car we recently acquired. So come on over and take a look at it. This car was one of five cars that we bought in a collection of cars out of an estate in Pennsylvania. We're located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. This came from about an hour away from us, so it wasn't too far. There were five cars. This one was sort of tucked back in the corner and came along for the ride with us. It's actually a neat car. It's a 1931 DeSoto. Uh, we are doing a no reserve auction, so somebody's going to get a great fun project car. When we got the car, we went through it and actually got it started and running very easily. I'll show you. We rebuilt the carburetor, put a new fuel pump on it, cleaned out the gas, and started right up. The chrome is quite nice on the car, and we do have, I'll show you separately, we do have the little emblem that goes here. So the trim around the radiator is nice, this trim is nice. We do not have the radiator cap. There are two choices this could have, so that will need to be acquired. There's some marks on the bumpers, mark here on the right front fender. But come on around the side. So I'll list the things the car needs. Uh, it will need tires. They are dry rotted. And you'll see, look at the pictures carefully that we take of the car. There's some flaking, mostly in the black paint on the car, the fenders. The blue is quite nice. And the top is bordering on excellent. So to really make the car look a lot nicer, you could touch up some of the black on the fenders. Also coming along the side, the car is in need of either an interior or some interior work. The trim around the windows is nice, but some of this did have some issues. The headliner needs to be replaced. The dash is actually quite nice. The steering wheel, steering column is nice. And as I talk about in our driving video, four out of five of the gauges work. It's just the water temperature gauge is not seemingly working. But it wouldn't take a heck of a lot to turn it into a, a nice interior. And it's definitely worth it. Uh, it's a very solid body, very solid frame. Just a nice old DeSoto and kind of a rare car. And very classic early 30s styling. Running boards are very solid. Fenders and everything are very solid. We had a lot of discussion here about the light blue wheels, but we just left them. That's the way the car came to us, so that's up to the next owner what they'd like to do. Coming along the rear of the car, same thing. The, brake li the lights do work. The brake light works. The rear window, the glass is in nice condition. I have a mark on the rear bumper. So it's the kind of car, with a little bit of love, it could really turn the corner and be a really nice car. Has a little dent here in this fender. And as I mentioned in the driving video, it actually drives quite well. It shifts nicely. The brakes are firm. The engine is quite strong has great oil pressure. It's missing one of the hinge, hinge points here that holds the uh, hood in place, so it's missing this. But the parts for these cars are relatively available, the things that at least this car needs. Here you can see we rebuilt the carburetor, put a new fuel pump on it, and uh, essentially cleaned the plugs and points and it started right up. So I think it's a very solid motor. So it's the kind of car it's in running condition. It can be used and enjoyed just the way it is as you tinker with the car and do other things on it. We do have a clear Pennsylvania title. And as I mentioned, it is a no reserve auction. So I love the cowl lights on these cars. I think they're so cool. Very classic 30s styling. These headlights, vertical radiator, the curve of this. It's just a cool old car. So if you're looking for a fun project, want to get into an inexpensive running DeSoto that's ready to play and have fun with, please consider our car. And it is a no-reserve auction, so it's going to find a new home. Thanks for looking at our car.